What's up Mischief Mafia? Joel with Motors of Mischief. Today we're working on our 1997 Jeep Grand Cherokee and uh, we're having a little bit of an electrical issue with this thing. It's intermittent so we're not sure what it is but the first thing to do is check the grounds and from doing research on the forums and checking around and probably why you guys are here if you're not subscribers is because there's not a ton of information on where those grounds are. So today we're going to go ahead and tear this uh, interior part and uh, also get under the hood. I'm going to show you where all the grounds are. Let's get going. Okay, so we uh, wanted to accomplish quite a few different things on this Jeep. Uh, because we know we've got the electrical problem, we're trying to uh, look for anything that might be causing the issue. And we're going after the body grounds, which on these um, ZJs are right here and right there. And um, the way the carpet is, it's all one giant piece, as you can see right here. So there isn't any really any way to um, pull the side panels and just be able to reach those. Um, you certainly could. There's a there's a slit right here where this comes through. You certainly could slit that carpet to get to these um, in case you want to check your body grounds. Those look pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and pull them apart and just double check, make sure there's nothing under there since we got it all apart. But honestly, um, this Jeep is a '97, so um, it's quite a few years old and. Sam doesn't plan on ever selling it, so she'd like to get, you know, all the other people dirt out of it. And so this was a good opportunity to get this all the way open. Um, this Jeep is amazingly rust free, but we did find a little bit right here. So we're going to go ahead and clean that up and take care of that. We'll clean all of this, get all the dirt and nastiness. There's about $4 worth of change in there and somebody's house key. So if you're a former owner of this Jeep and you're missing a house key, we've got it. We'll hang on to it for you. Send us a comment. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and pressure wash the carpet and uh, this these carpets are uh, backed with a sound deadening, so they're fairly waterproof. So we're gonna go ahead and clean up, get all that nastiness and stuff off of there with the pressure washer. And uh, then we're gonna, while that's drying, we'll jump in here, we'll take care of those crowns, we'll clean up um, all these things and then be able to put it back together. Now I do wanna show you one thing that we discovered while we were working this is the this jeep has the xfinity sound system in it and look what we found right there so i don't know if the amp stopped working and somebody thought that the best way to deal with that was to just try to bypass it but there's an awful lot of wires that aren't connected there and um yeah i just i hate that i hate that so much so we're going to um, go ahead and fix that if the amp is bad, which, you know, I would assume it is since somebody tried to bypass it, but they've got them on eBay for like 50 bucks, so we'll just order up a replacement and uh, see if we can get all that working again. But I've definitely seen cut wires like that cause unintended electrical issues elsewhere. And since we have unintended electrical issues in this Jeep, probably not what's causing it, but could be. We're gonna go ahead and fix those too. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started on cleaning for right now, and then we'll tackle that wiring. Okay, the other major ground place, other than that um, spot underneath the driver's seat, is right here underneath the engine. Uh, I'm gonna turn you sideways to get you down there, but it's right there. So that's a major ground for a ton of the components that come 
um, from essentially all over the place on the Jeep. So we're gonna go ahead and pull those. Uh, they look a little corroded. We'll clean them up and see if that helps. Okay, got those all cleaned up. We chased the, get you guys down the hole there. We chased that with um, a chaser to clean it all up. And then uh, we use the meter to check resistance on this cable right here from here to here to make sure that that was good and um, it was perfect no uh, no problems at all so we'll go ahead and put this all back together and uh, that should do it all right guys that's it I hope you enjoyed that video that's uh, where the two body grounds are and the one main ground underneath the hood get all those cleaned up and um, your uh, your electrical issues will be in good shape uh, at least if they're caused by grounds Thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate you. Well, uh, thank you for all the love and support. Peace, guys. F-250. Let me do that over again. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, let's see. Hang on, turn that off. I don't know what I'm going to do. And uh, what have you in the Jeep. We don't need any of that information. You can just quit. <laughs>